What is up? I hope you guys can hear me because this big giant unit behind me is almost as loud as it could be. Anyway, just had to uh, replace the fan motor in this little carrier unit. It's on a mini split. Had to go get a universal because OEM is not available. I need to get this running. But, uh, you know, I always kind of hit and miss when you get universal fan motors and use the place of uh, OEMs. But, you know, I have to say this Mars unit is a pretty good uh, option. Covers all these horsepower ranges. This is a 460 volt, 825 RPM. And, uh, the, you know, the long universal mounts that you break off. Cut it to make it into a three wire, all that normal stuff. Got all the mounting holes the uh, screws in the side which are removed you know for reams and stuff but the thing that I like about these that I want to just say to get you know a good review is uh, most universal fan motors uh, with the threaded you know mounting holes they do not give you new nuts for those a lot of them most of them and sometimes the OEM motor you took out has a larger diameter thread so you can't use the old acorn nuts or whatever that was on there on the new universal motor motor so you kind of get screwed sometimes so this motor actually comes with those nuts and lock washers not only does it come with those it also came with the four screws that are removed you know on the sides for the ream mounting for old ream units and then it also comes with these screws which are for the modern american standard train units or with the uh, holes in the back of the aluminum you know where it mounts with those so you can put these in a ream uh, sorry a ream of course right train american standard comes with the screws the units the motors the oem motors for a train don't even give you these screws you have to actually ask for them separate at the parts counter uh, at the train vendor so these come with this and these nuts come with it which i'm going to save into my little you know carrying thing that i use uh, so i'll just put it in here somewhere with some of my screws because uh if I do have to get a universal motor that isn't one of these, and it's short, these little nuts, I'm gonna have these next time. Cause it's it's been sucky, you know, uh, that they usually don't come with those and you get screwed uh, when you don't have the right size nuts with you. So I don't like that. So I uh, gotta say pretty good. Plus, oh, one thing, it is a ball bearing motor, so it is smooth.